cataract is an important topic almost one or two questions are asked every year in all the exams be it neat pg next pg inict and within cataract the most frequently asked question is about uh, the appearances of the cataract and the types of the cataract uh, so today uh, we'll be discussing all the one liners in cataract especially with respect to the types and appearances now in this topic two kind of questions are frequently asked one that what is the appearance of the cataract in this condition for example oil droplet cataract is seen in so the answer is galactosemia so that's one type of uh, question and the second type is uh, about the location of the cataract uh, for example uh, the cataract in congenital rubella occurs in which part of the lens or what is the location uh, in the lens uh, so the answer for that is nucleus right so we'll be discussing both these type of questions and it's an elaborate list as you can see in the table uh, i have enumerated all the one liners that can be asked uh, but even going through uh, this table can be overwhelming because there is a lot of information to process so i have tried to make it easy uh, i personally use some memorization techniques mnemonics and tricks and i'll be sharing uh, with you those tricks today so let's get started so for the first part uh, let's ignore the location column and let's only focus on uh, the two columns the disease condition and the specific appearance right uh, so the first uh, one we have uh, is uh, wilson's disease uh, wilson's disease shows sunflower cataract okay uh, and wilson's disease is because of copper deposition uh, so Chalcosis is another disease which has uh, copper deposition. Uh, so both of these conditions will show sunflower cataract. Uh, the way I remember this is uh, by typing uh, Wilson, you know, uh, W-I-L-S-U-N. So you know that sunflower uh, occurs in Wilson's disease. Uh, the second one is atopic dermatitis. Uh, the cataract seen in atopic dermatitis is shield cataract. I remember this using the mnemonic ADS, uh, which is in atopic dermatitis, you'll get shield cataract, S for shield. Now, in diabetes mellitus, uh, we get a snowflake cataract or the snowstorm cataract. Uh, and the way I remember this is uh, that diabetes is going to bring uh, a storm in all your organs, including your eyes. So it's going to cause a snowstorm uh, cataract. The fourth one, uh, galactosemia. Uh, causes uh, what is called as the oil droplet cataract uh, and uh, the mnemonic for this that I use is G-O-D, uh, galactosemia oil droplet. The fifth type is myotonic dystrophy and myotonic dystrophy uh, shows uh, a cataract which has been described as a inverted uh, Christmas tree cataract, uh, also known as a stellate cataract. Right? Uh, this is one of the cataracts which has a polychromatic luster. It has uh, an iridescent, multiple colorful uh, opacities can be seen uh, within the lens. Uh, so the way I remember this is uh, by pronouncing uh, the word myotonic dystrophy, right? Uh, so tree uh, will tell you that there is uh, the Christmas tree cataract in myotonic dystrophy. The next one is uh, rosette cataract, uh, which is seen in blunt trauma to the eye. Uh, it also shows a voscious ring uh, on anterior lens capsule, which is basically an imprint of the iris on the anterior capsule. Uh, so these three points I remember uh, using this story uh, that of this girl called uh, Rose. And I gave a, a rose to the girl and uh, she punched me in the face, right? And uh, because of that trauma, I get a rosette cataract. The next one. Uh, in congenital rubella, we see a pearly lamellar cataract, uh, which is a nuclear cataract. So I remember these three points uh, using the mnemonic uh, rubella, lamella, and nuclear, right? So it's, it's a very rhythmic uh, sound, uh, rubella, lamella, nuclear. So that will help you uh, remember this. Now the next one, in titany and hypoparathyroidism, uh, we see crystalline white flaky opacities 
in the cortex. Uh, now, tetany and hypoparathyroidism, they are related to calcium metabolism. Uh, and calcium is present in the bones. Bones are white, right? So if uh, calcium is less in your body, your bones will become flaky and brittle, right? So remember that, that tetany hypoparathyroidism uh, will cause white flaky opacities in the con in the lens. Uh, the next one is basically pretty uh, simple. Down syndrome causes a blue dot cataract. Uh, by the way, blue dot cataract is also the most uh, common type of congenital cataract. Uh, so down syndrome and blue dot cataract, you can remember the association. Now in chronic anterior uveitis, uh, we see uh, the complicated cataract and uh, complicated cataract has a polychromatic luster to it. It also has the classical bread crumb appearance. Uh, so I remember this using the mnemonic CC. Uh, C is for com complicated cataract, uh, which will have a bread crumb appearance and a polychromatic luster, right? So C and C. Uh, now another uh, mnemonic to remember the causes of uh, complicated cataract is Umar right uh, which is basically the hindi word for age so uh, the mnemonic stands for uveitis uh, high myopia angle closure glaucoma and retinitis pigmentosa these are the four common conditions of complicated cataract that you need to keep in mind do note that out of these four uh, angle closure glaucoma mostly causes anterior subcapsular opacities whereas the other three cause a posterior subcapsular cataract. Uh, the next one that we need to pay attention to is uh, infrared uh, radiation, uh, which is a risk factor for glass blowers cataract, uh, which is seen in people uh, in, which is an occupational hazard uh, seen in glass blowers uh, who work with uh, metal equipment. And the next one, angle closure glaucoma uh, is uh, associated with, like I said, uh, anterior subcapsular cataract. It's also called the called a glaucomoflecken, right? So as far as uh, the condition and the loci and the appearance of the cataract is concerned, we have covered all the points, right? I hope the mnemonics are useful to you. Now, uh, we'll be also covering the location of the cataract as along with the disease condition. Now, uh, the way I remember the location of the cataracts, uh, I've summarized uh, this table here. Uh, basically, uh, from the anterior to the posterior, the parts of the lens are uh, you've got the anterior pole, uh, then you've got the anterior uh, subcapsular region, uh, then anterior cortex, you've got the nucleus in the center, behind the nucleus you have the posterior cortex, then posterior subcapsular area, and finally you have the posterior pole going from anterior to posterior. Now let's let's see the poles because they are very easy to remember. Uh, anterior polar cataract occurs in uh, Alport syndrome and it's also associated with anterior lenticonus, right? So A and A, it's an easy mnemonic to remember. Alport syndrome, anterior lenticonus will have anterior polar cataract. So this one is done. Now the second one, the posterior polar, uh, the association classical one is the low A syndrome, right? Uh, in addition to low A syndrome, you'll also have posterior lenticonus, uh, which has been known to cause a uh, posterior polar cataract. So two uh, cataracts to remember for uh, anterior polar, two to remember for posterior polar. Uh, let's look at the third one, the nucleus. Nucleus, the classic uh, one is uh, rubella, which causes a pearly uh, lamellar nuclear cataract, right? Which is why we had the mnemonic rubella lamella nucleella. So if you remember this, this is the only one that you need to remember uh, within the nucleus. Next, uh, let's look at the anterior subcapsular uh, cataract. So here you have to remember two important ones. Uh, one is Wilson's disease, uh, Will Sun, uh, which causes the sunflower cataract. Uh, also chalcosis causes the sunflower cataract. Uh, these uh, both cause uh, anterior subcapsular cataract and in addition to Wilson's you have to remember the mnemonic DEA DIA right so uh, in DIA uh, basically we have to remember drugs 
uh, electricity or lightning burn, burns and uh, angle closure glaucoma. Uh, these three cause an anterior subcapsular cataract. Uh, if you want to go into more details uh, within the drugs uh, which cause cataract, we have to look at the mnemonic A, B, C, D, E. So the classical drugs which are known to cause cataract are A, B, C, D, E. A stands for amiodarone, uh, B stands for busulfan, uh, C stands for chlorpromazine, uh, D stands for de dexamethasone or uh, steroids, uh, and E stands for ecothiophate. Uh, out of these five, remember that dexamethasone causes a posterior subcapsular cataract. Right? Steroids cause a posterior subcapsular cataract, whereas the other four are typically going to cause a an anterior subcapsular cataract. Okay. Uh, remember the points uh, with respect to steroids. Uh, the classical uh, MCQ that is asked is that topical uh, steroids uh, will usually cause glaucoma, and uh, systemic steroids or oral steroids will cause cataract. Uh, with respect to drug-induced cataract, the most common cause is uh, steroids, right? Uh, which will be systemic steroids. And because steroids cause a posterior subcapsular cataract, so the most common site for a drug-induced cataract is going to be PSC. Although most of the drugs in the list are known to cause anterior subcapsular cataract, but overall the most common site for drug-induced cataract is a PSC because the most common etiologic agent, uh, the drug associated with cataract, uh, is steroids. So for anterior, so for anterior subcapsular cataract, you have to remember uh, Wilson's disease and uh, DEA, these two mnemonics. For a posterior subcapsular cataract, uh, remember the mnemonic SURMA. So SURMA basically stands for uh, steroids, like we discussed. Uh, U stands for uveitis, R stands for radiation, uh, M stands for myotonic dystrophy, and A stands for atopic dermatitis. So the SURMA uh, mnemonic is going to cause uh, posterior capsular cataract. When we were discussing complicated cataract, I told you the mnemonic UMAR, out of which uh, angle closure glaucoma causes a uh, anterior subcapsular cataract, and the others uh, cause a posterior subcapsular cataract. So in addition to SURMA, you have to remember this second mnemonic, right? Basically myopia, retinite, uh, retinitis pigmentosa, they will also cause posterior subcapsular cataract, right? So if you remember things that we have discussed so far, uh, it still leaves four or five other cataracts, uh, which are basically cortical ones. So if you remember the other types, then you don't actively have to remember the cortical cataracts. They are taken care of, right? For example, in this case, siderosis, uh, diabetes mellitus, uh, blunt trauma to the eye, uh, titany hypoparathyroidism, Down syndrome, uh, then chemical injuries are all going to cause cortical cataracts, right? So if you want, we can quickly revise this table here. Uh, the anterior subcapsular remember the mnemonic DEA and in addition to uh, DEA, remember Wilson's disease. These are causes of anterior subcapsular cataract. For posterior subcapsular cataract, we discuss the mnemonic SURMA, right, which is steroids, uh, uveitis, uh, radiation, uh, myotonic dystrophy and atopic dermatitis and also some complicated cataracts uh, like uh, in retinitis pigmentosa and myopia will cause a posterior subcapsular cataract. Uh, with respect to nuclear, the only MCQ here is that congenital rubella causes a uh, pearly lamellar nuclear cataract. Apart from this, all the other cataracts are cortical variety most commonly. So I hope these tricks uh, will help you remember uh, all the cataract types, uh, especially the volatile one-liners on this topic. Uh, in the next video, we'll be discussing all the images uh, of uh, cataracts so that it becomes easy uh, to identify them. Uh, most of the times uh, when cataracts being asked in the exams, it's either a one-liner 
uh, or it's uh, an image based question as a spot diagnosis. So we'll cover that part in the next video. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel if you are new here. I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.